Chemical kinetics, the rate law. For the following reaction, we obtain the following data. What is the rate law for this reaction? Calculate the value of K as well. What would the speed of reaction be if the concentration of each reactant was 0.45 moles per liter? The initial concentration of each reactant is given with the corresponding initial speeds. The reaction was done seven times with different concentrations and the results were put in this table. We are going to use the isolation method. Here is the incomplete rate law for this reaction. We need to determine the effect of each reactant on the speed and then solve for the value of the rate constant, K. We can determine which reactant affects the speed by isolating one of the reactants and keeping the other one stable. Let's look at the first and second experiments. The reactant A increases from 0.2 to 0.4 moles per liter, while the concentrations of B and C do not change. A is isolated and we can check if it influences the speed. From the first to second experiment, the concentration of A doubles, but the speed remains the same. So, reactant A is not in the rate law equation. Note that we do not look at the reactant's coefficients in these calculations. Now we need to look for a case in which B or C is isolated. From the second to third experiment, the concentration of B changes while the other ones stay constant. Let's look at what happens to the speed when B is isolated. When B doubles, the speed quadruples. The ratio between the concentration of B and the speed is therefore 2 to 1, so the effect of B is put to the power of 2. Now let's find a case where C is isolated. From the third to fourth experiment, B and C change, so that doesn't work. From the fourth to fifth experiment, all the concentrations change, which is also not good. We can also look at lines that are not adjacent. Let's compare the second and fourth experiments. Between these two, A and B don't change, but the concentration of C doubles. The speed, however, is not affected, so C is not part of the rate law. So only B affects the speed of our reaction. The initial speed will be equal to the square of the concentration. On an exam, we don't need to show all these mental calculations that we just did. We can simply write, by observation, V equals K B squared. Note that if B had doubled and the speed had also doubled, we would have written the rate law like this. To determine the value of K, we can insert the data from any of the experiments. Here, we will use the last experiment just because it has the simplest numbers. We rearrange the equation to obtain a K value of 4.00. The units are included so that you can see how the units for the rate constant are obtained. Now that we know K, we can write the complete rate law equation. The last part of the question asks what the speed will be if all the reactants have a concentration of 0.45 moles per liter. We insert 0.45 into our equation. We find that at this concentration, the speed of the reaction will be 0.81 meters per second.